Oh, hey, it's Rob, and I'm in the kitchen again. Uh, it's hot sauce time. The hot sauce is looking like the fermentation has slowed down considerably, if not stopped altogether. Uh, it's, um, I did have an explosion or two where it blew the lid off of the fermentation container. Uh, it's what I get for trying a fermentation without any venting. But uh, everything looks clear, so there's no... There's no issues, there's no mold, there's no, there's not even any carm yeast. Uh, and this is looking like a pretty good batch as far as the fermentation goes. All right, I did pry the lid off just a minute ago. Uh, it is sitting on here nice and loose. I just wanna show you what it looks like on the inside. Now, if you notice, there's little bubbles that pop every once in a while in here. That means that it is still an active fermentation. However, you can see there's nothing on the top. There's no, no growths or anything like that. There's little tiny pieces of, eh, well, those are actually sauerkraut. But uh, I think this is just about done. So I want to do a little, ooh, that was a big bubble. <laughs> I want to do a little tasting. First of all, I'm going to cover that up. I don't want any little weirdos to get in there. All right, before we go too much farther, I want to do a quick stir because this has settled. Oh, yeah. All sorts of goop on the bottom. And you can see the bubbles still forming. This is still an active ferment. It's going to have to wait a little bit longer, but I want to give it a little taste test now. Oh, she still got a bite. Wow. But it is tamed. The sweetness is almost entirely gone, which I would expect from the fermentation. But there's a lot of flavor left behind. And the burn is... I mean, it's still right there in the front, but it's not as overwhelming as it was. And it's got a nice tail to it. Still, you know, this is not... The best sauce I've ever done. Uh, it's, well, certainly not the best sauce I've ever done. But, considering what I was working with, yeah, I think this is going to go okay. Uh, this needs to sit longer, um, probably another couple weeks, maybe a month. And then, I think we're going to start bottling it. But, uh, just for now, a little check-in. All right, here's a little bonus. Uh, something I didn't really go into very much, but I also started just a batch of some uh, haban or jalapenos with some garlic and dill and things. And they're stuck under here under a fermentation weight. So I'm gonna pop the lid off. Those are still sweet. Wow. Good. But still. Ooh. Very sweet. And a little bit of water to the airlock. You know, I think those are pretty much done. 
Uh, oh, I'm looking at the date here. Uh, November 20th. So on November 20th is when I put those in the jar. I guess they've been about six weeks. That's a fairly, fairly decent time for a fermentation. Uh, I'm gonna let these go a little longer. I have another batch that I started at the same time. So I don't know if this is gonna be a sauce or if I'm just gonna keep these as uh, keep these as snack and peppers. Cause it, they are pretty tasty. I'm not usually a big fan of the of sweeter sweeter peppers, but. Yeah, this is uh, that's actually a pretty decent flavor, and it's got some good heat to it too. 